stop the violence now. This is the message that students of the Sangre Grande Seventh-day Adventist Primary School wish to send to the leaders of the nation. Students and teachers braved the rains on Monday to let their voices be heard with an anti-crime march in the area. Pastor Dr. Clive Dotton, who attended the event, said Sangre Grande is fast becoming a tremendous hotspot. He reflected on the death of six-year-old Kylie Maloney, whose life was lost earlier this year as a casualty of gang violence. There's a revenge in the society. I've said it before. A lot of our children have become criminals, have grown up in loveless and godless homes. And through these children have a simple message. All right? Stop the violence. No. That is the message. They are saying that to politicians, to weird pastors and priests and pundits and imams, they're, they're saying to all of us who are leading mainstream society, communicate a message to the community. Be our, we want, they want us to be their voices. Stop the violence now. Pastor Dotton wants to see a change in society and called on more religious organizations to be intentional with their actions. School principal Denise Elliott said the school stands in solidarity with all those who have been affected by crime in the Sangre Grande area and the country. She believes it is important for students to take a stand against the issues in the country. And we as a school have decided to fight crime and all dynamics with our master Jesus Christ. We have decided to fight crime by in having, letting our students learn good morals and providing them with adequate skills to have an option to crime. We are special focus on our boy children. Principal Elliot revealed that the curriculum will be adjusted to more active and male-friendly to assist the boys at the school.